guys welcome back to my channel so today i am sitting down i'm making this look right here for you guys with a whole not a whole bunch not like a full face but quite a few brand new goodies to me i try out some m cosmetics goodies that i was super excited to try out some things from half cake makeup and then some lip products that i got during the sephora sale so this is like sephora sale haul 2.0 a little bit a little bit I'm not gonna lie, some of these were a little bit of a struggle. Some of them I was not as impressed with as I thought I was going to be. And some of them I am more impressed with than I thought I was going to be. So buckle up, it's a little bit of a wild ride, but that is all right. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you wanna see how I got this look right here with a bunch of new makeup goodies, then let's go ahead and get started. So just like we typically do, we are going to start off with our eyes today. And for eyes, I am super excited. We have, well, it's kind of new. I was about to say we have a new product from M Cosmetics. It's kind of new. They launched them about, I want to say a month ago or so. And this is their Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. And I picked up the shade Moonrise. That looks, I haven't even swatched it. That looks absolutely stunning. Ooh, it feels super creamy. That feels so creamy. Are you serious? Are you serious? Look at that. Holy moly. That looks absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to put that all over my eyelid. And that is exactly what we're going to do. First though, I do want to put a little bit of a base down. So I'm going to take my About Face. This is their fluid eye paint, um, the matte one. And this is in the shade Cloned. It's just going to be like a dark brown. I'm hoping it's not too dark. I have used this one other time, but I don't kind of, I kind of don't remember what I think about it because it was a while ago. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on and then we're going to blend it out. If you hear things, my lovely cat is in here. I did prime with my MAC Paint Pot, but I did not set it with powder. That looks pretty good, minus some harsh lines, but I'm just going to tap those out. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, let's do the other eye. I'm going to put a little bit more. I want to try more from About Face. That is Halsey's brand. I'm not like a huge Halsey fan. I don't like dislike her, but I just don't like go out of my way to listen to her music. But she is stunning. And I heard, I think somewhere on Instagram, I mean, who knows how true this is because you can't believe everything, obviously, you read on social media. But I heard that she like does her own makeup. No, I didn't hear on Instagram. I'm sorry. I heard this from Smoky Glow from Hannah um, on one of her videos. She does her own, Halsey does her own makeup on like sets and stuff like that. And I think for events, um, so it like makes sense that she started her own makeup brand because she's like really into it. So yeah, that was nice. That blended out pretty nicely. I'm just going to try to get these edges. So for this, it felt super creamy. I don't think I'm going to need my glitter primer, but I always use it. So I am going to go ahead and use it. So we're just going to put a little bit all over our lid. Going for the plant like always. And then I'm just going to swirl my finger in here. This like seriously feels like a cream shadow. That is wild. Okay, maybe I really did not need that glitter glue. And then I'm just going to tap it on. Holy moly, this is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I definitely need to like fix that. I kind of got it everywhere, but this is a really, really pretty shadow. And I like can't even explain it. It's not like a ColourPop Super Shock to where it's super like sparkly. Like a lot of the times those are really sparkly. This isn't like sparkly at all, if you can tell, but it's just super impactful and shiny and like almost metallic. I don't, is that what it's called though? Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow. Ooh, dewy. Yeah, that's a really good way to describe this. That's so pretty. I'm gonna not put glitter primer on this side and just see what it uh, looks like and feels like on there. So we're just going to tap this on. Yeah, I don't think, I definitely don't think you need a glitter primer with this kind of shadow, which is nice. But I actually do think it's a little bit more impactful with the glitter primer side. I mean, slightly, I don't think there is a huge change. So I'm gonna try to build this up a little bit. Wow, I am like so impressed by this shadow. It is stunning. And what's funny is I picked up their new powder highlighter, which I will demo in a little bit for you guys. And I just kind of like bought this also with it to get free shipping, which doesn't really fully make sense in your mind because this was 
more expensive than the free shipping but i hate paying for i hate paying for shipping and i was like you know what i've had my eye on these i've been wanting to try them so why not pick one up but i am so like i, I kind of want more i'm not a single shadow kind of girl so i'm gonna have to wait and see how often i actually reach for this one but you can't deny like how beautiful that is I am loving this. I'm so glad I picked this up. Next up for foundation, we're gonna go in with my newest foundation and it is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc Light 2. But before that, we are gonna put on my Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum Base uh, just because this is like a super, super mattifying foundation and I want a dewy hydrated base underneath to let it slide and glide right on. If you are looking for a dewy hydrated base look no further because i look like i am shiny hopefully it's not too much so last time i used this foundation in a get ready with me i was saying how it's just a little bit cakey on me a little bit drying and one of my subscribers told me well uh, quite a few of you guys told me i'm using too much which like are you sunrise <laughs> i always use too much makeup i am very heavy-handed if you are not new here you know this however one of my subscribers was telling me that she just puts a little bit on her hand and then she kind of like just goes off of that so she'll put a little bit on her sponge and then like go like this so she doesn't have a ton on there and then kind of like stipple it on like this instead of like dotting it on my face like i was because then you just go in with too much product so i'm gonna try that and see how that works my only like not fear but my only apprehension is that i'm not gonna get the coverage I want but then someone else was saying well I probably should have done that but someone else was saying like spot conceal first like all the areas you want to cover up so I probably should have spot concealed this acne first but forgot and then that would help with the coverage so you wouldn't have to go in with this much foundation which is yes definitely a good idea and I do that with other foundations but since this one's supposed to be so full coverage I didn't think I had to but I understand maybe I do <laughs> so I definitely feel like it is looking less cakey um, which is very, very nice, less drying. But like I said, I just don't feel like I'm getting the coverage I need, but we'll go in with some concealer and try to fix that. So I am filming like way earlier than I typically do. It's like 7.45. Well, it's probably like around eight o'clock now, but I started around 7.45 because today I am taking my bocce, which means a grandma and Polish. I am 50% Polish on my dad's side. He's 100%. So my dad's mom, I'm taking her to get her hair done. Uh, she is 94 She's 94 years old and she does not drive anymore. So people need to take her to get her hair done and no one else could do it. So my aunt asked me to do it today and I was like, yeah, of course. But it is so funny because she is 94, like I said, and she has been going to the same hair girl for like 40 or 50 years at this point. And the girl who does her hair is like in her 80s. So she's not much younger than my pop she, which is just so funny to me. I'm like actually really excited to see their dynamic. Like, are they gonna like, talk the whole time like old friends are they gonna like sit in silence like i'm just kind of like really intrigued to see their dynamic <laughs> but i didn't know like how long that would take and my dad was like you know she might want to take you out to lunch afterwards so i was like let me go ahead film this get ready with me before i take her so i'm not like stressed to come home and like film two videos because i'm gonna film another one later i'm gonna film my empties my current empties video so that way i was like let me just go ahead get one done so i'm not stressing out <laughs> Okay, so I do think this looks a lot better. So thank you to the subscriber who gave me that tip. I definitely do think it's not as like cakey or drying or too, too, um, I don't know, just too intense like it was before. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I was just using too much. It's looking pretty good on my skin. I definitely think the hydrated base helped as well, but it's not looking like too dry or anything. I definitely think there is some spots I need to cover up a little bit more, but we're gonna go in with concealer next. But yeah, definitely this is my... Um, I want to say third or fourth time, maybe third time using this foundation, and this is definitely the best I feel like that it's looked so far. I did get some weird balling on my skin though. Is that normal? I don't know. That looks kind of weird. Hmm. So for concealer, this concealer brand and type is not new to me, but this shade is new to me, and it is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I picked up the shade at 0 0.5 in. I returned the blue cheese one. <laughs> And I'm telling you what, I went shopping with my mom and my sister, and when I was talking about returning that concealer, my mom was like, yeah, like, of course, like, if it smells funny, don't, you know, return it. And my sister was like, what are you talking about? And I gave her the concealer, and I was like, tell me, tell me this doesn't smell like blue cheese. And she was like, oh my gosh, it does. So, 
three people backed me up. That is not like a blue cheese. Ava, Mike, and my sister. So I returned that one and then I got another one in the mail. So I love, I love this concealer so much, but I just had, I had 1.5, I think, which was just a little bit too dark for like right now in the um, upcoming winter, the winter months. I keep saying the upcoming winter months, but it's like November, Emily. The winter months are here. Um, but I just wanted to get a lighter shade. So I picked 0.5 up and I definitely think it's going to be a better match for me right now. I did finish the 1.5. You will see that in my empties video coming up. I was very excited about that. This concealer is just so lovely. I know I've talked about it quite a bit on my channel, but it's just like hydrating and has decent coverage. Everyone was saying that it had like more medium coverage when I like before I purchased it. And I definitely think it's more on the full side. I mean, is it like the most full coverage concealer I've ever used? No, but it definitely covers up like what I need it to. And it's like hydrating and doesn't get like cakey or drying or anything. I just love this concealer. Oh, and this one, I just realized it's not pulling too yellow on me, maybe slightly, but I know that that is a complaint from a lot of people that these uh, concealers pull yellow. And I feel like this one didn't on me, which is nice because I hadn't tried this shade yet. I'm gonna add a little bit more under my eyes. Alrighty, next up I'm going to do a couple steps that I typically don't do. I'm going to cream bronze and cream blush up this face, and then I'm gonna set it and probably end up topping the creams with powders. I know a lot of people do this step. Um, it's supposed to be like super long lasting because you have cream that you top with powder. I typically only go in with creams or only go in with powders, but I just have a couple new things that I want to test out. So I'm gonna test out again the Candy Paint from Half Cake, their cheek and lip tint. This is Morning View, this was the bronzer. I did go ahead and do a first impression of Half Cake makeup. I had never tried it before. I put up a video on it a couple, like last week at this point. Um, I can have that linked in the eye and down below in case you missed it. But I was like super, super impressed by a bunch of the items that I purchased and tried out in that video. So I wanted to just use this again today. I will say I can definitely tell the difference between using this over a matte foundation versus, well, I actually don't remember what foundation I used in that. Get ready with me when I tried on these products, but I feel like it's, not that it's not blending well over this, but it just like feels a little bit harder to blend, but not like it's hard to blend. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But I can def definitely just tell a difference over this matte base. And then I was super excited because in that video, I said that they had accidentally sent me the wrong blush shade. So I tried out the blush shade that they sent me in the video and I ended up really loving the formula. But the shade, it's this one right here. It's called Disco Lemonade. It's a really pretty shade, but it's just like really bright pink and not the one that I ordered. So they had gone ahead and sent me the one that I ordered. I'd reach out to them. They fixed the situation. And the one that I ordered was called Yacht Week. This is it. This is way more of my alley, I feel like. So I'm gonna give this a go today. I have never tried it yet, but it looks very, very pretty. Oh yeah, this is way more my type of shade. Just a little bit on the nudie side, has a little bit of rosiness to it. Did I get too much? Mm -hmm. I did, told you guys I'm heavy handed. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. I will say these products are very, very dewy. So if you do not like a dewy sort of product, I would maybe stay away from these. They're definitely very dewy, but I am going to set them down today. I didn't in that first video just because I wanted to try them out on their own. So I'm going to set them down today and I'm excited to see like how, like how they work with that and how they, you know, wear all day with that, with setting them down. But yeah, that shade is very beautiful. I am so glad I picked this one up instead. So I am going to go ahead and set pretty much my whole face. I'm going to get my whole face with this Laura Mercier powder and then we will probably go over with powder, blush, and bronzer like I was saying. This is just their translucent powder that's been around the block. Everyone loves, but it's a good one. So that's why. Ooh, okay. That actually looks beautiful with just setting it. I feel like I don't know if I do need to go over it with powder, bronzer, and blush. I was going to do that because I thought once I set it, it would kind of disappear and make it fade too much, but like it didn't. You definitely can still see the bronzer and the blush, so maybe I'm not going to put powder, bronzer, blush over it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. 
Okay, I am like really, really impressed with just how well these cream products look with powder set over them. I just think it looks beautiful. I feel like it looks like I put on powder products. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the powder, bronzer, and blush for right now. I may come back to it, I don't know. But next up, I am so excited to try this product. It is the new M Cosmetics. This is their Sunscape Highlighter. It's a powder highlighter. And I ended up picking up the shade Clarity. I'm a little nervous that this is gonna be too dark for me. And this was the lightest one. They had this one and then they also did have a little bit more of a pinky one. However, I feel like when this was very first launching and it was available to order, I don't feel like M Cosmetics did that great of a job of getting uh, like swatch pictures out of it. I still feel like there's really not that great of swatch pic pictures out. So I picked up this one. I feel like if I would have seen better swatches, I might have picked up the more pinky one, but too late now. I already, you know, bought this one. So we're just going to go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, okay. That is beautiful. If you do not know, I love the M Cosmetics powder blushes. Love them so, so much. So I was so excited when they came out with a powder highlight. Okay, that actually looks stunning. I'm just, yeah, I'm just a little afraid it's going to be too deep on me. I don't know. Let's try it out. So I just got a little bit on my brush here. Ooh. That's really pretty. I'm trying to decide if there's a cast. I feel like there might be a slight one. I mean, okay, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty. But it's like not as epic and like life-changing and groundbreaking as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to fall head over heels in love with this and it was going to be like my new favorite highlighter. And not gonna lie, I mean, it's pretty. Like, don't get me wrong, it's very pretty. I'm a, oh, gosh, I'm a little disappointed in this. And, and I can't like specifically pinpoint why. I just feel like I have other highlighters in my collection that are just as pretty, if not prettier, uh, shade-wise and definitely formulation-wise. I feel like this isn't looking as... Like, I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person. And maybe it'll look better, like, in natural sunlight or anything like that. But right now, I just kind of feel, like, very, like, wah, wah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty, but it's not super blinding. It's not the best shade for me. I definitely tend to go for more, like, champagne highlights than goldy highlights. But, I, I, you know, every once in a while, I do love a gold highlight. So, I'm not going to knock it there. But, I don't know. Let me put some on my nose. See how that looks. I don't know guys I'm kind of let down by this and this was expensive like I want to say it was 40 something dollars is it pretty yes do I like it sure but I feel like for the price and the fact that it's M Cosmetics which they're like one of my favorite brands right now um I'm like impressed with pretty much everything they've done I don't know I just feel like very it's just very lackluster to me I feel like it's not as impactful or blinding or which I mean I don't know if it necessarily claims to be but when you see this beautifulness in the pan it's kind of like yeah this is going to be super reflective and super blinding and then it's just kind of like not i'm a little bummed by this but i'm going to keep testing it out in the future and definitely keep you guys updated on my thoughts but as of like right now my first impressions i'm a little bummed all right i did a few things off of camera i went ahead and filled in my brows and for that i used my m cosmetics this is their fine liner brow pencil in the shade light taupe and then I set it down with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel. Then for under my lash line, I just ran a little bit of bronzer under there. And then I did take a little bit of this and put it like right here, if you can tell. I was trying to do it with a brush, was not working. I don't think this is gonna be the type of eyeshadow that you can put on with a brush, which makes sense because it's so creamy. So then I just took my pinky and just like ran it along there and I think it's pretty it's a little pop of something something and then on my inner corner I put on ColourPop a flexitarian next up for mascara I'm gonna go in with the half caked makeup totally tubular mascara this is the ultimate one I tried this out in that half cake video I was referring to earlier and I really really liked it in that video and since then I've used it I want to say one or two times off of camera as well and I really do think I like this mascara. I think it's a nice mascara. I don't know if I like it enough to where I would go out of my way to go to Half Cake's website to repurchase it when it's gone. You know what I mean? But while I have it, I really like it. That is the one bad thing about like smaller indie brands. I mean, 
I, was, I don't want to say it's a bad thing, but that is one, I guess, little minor inconvenience about like indie brands and smaller brands is a lot of times you do have to order from their website. I feel like it's just a little bit of a bummer only because like Ulta and Sephora have, you know, rewards systems and all that. So I really like to order from there and get those rewards points, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I like to support smaller brands. Yeah, I just feel like this looks very good on my lashes. I feel like it looks, makes them look really long. Not necessarily too thick, but it makes them look like long and like not clumpy or anything. So I'm really impressed with this. Next up for lips. When my mom and my sister and I went shopping, we went to Sephora and my mom picked up some things for her. I think my sister got something too, actually. Um, it was like the second to last day of the sale. And you'll grow about more stuff. So anyways, I'm excited about all the stuff I got. It was literally all lip products. That's a do I need more lip products? No, but I'm excited. So the first thing I picked up was the Makeup by Mario. This is his new um, Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade Hue. I've heard such good things about these lip liners. They released like not that long ago. And I was going to pick one up the day that Ava and I went shopping. And I just didn't. I was like bought, already buying so much other stuff. But she picked one up. I, I think she got Hue as well. And she tried it on in her like Sephora try on haul video. And she loved it. And I was texting her about it. And I was like, girl do I need to pick up a makeup by Mario lip liner? And she was like, yeah. So I did. <laughs> so again, I got the shade Hue. It is a wooden pencil, but it looks like the most beautiful, like, oh yeah, like pinky shade, but with a little bit of brownness. Oh, I'm excited. It did come with a sharpener as well, which always love to see. So I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not going to fill them in. So it's definitely a little bit stiffer because it is a wooden pencil. Um, but it's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I do want to note that it's a little bit stiffer. It's not gliding as well as maybe like a gel or one that you sharpen. Well, you sharpen this, but like, a, you know what I mean? Like the plastic ones that you sharpen, that's not wooden, <laughs> but I feel like that'll be a good thing because it'll be really long lasting and it's not like hurting or tugging or anything. It's just not as super glidey as other ones I have. I really like this shade. Oh, that is pretty. I like that a lot. This is this is a good one. And then for lipstick, I went back and forth. I was gonna get this and then I didn't, and then I was gonna get it and then I wasn't. And then I in store, I swatched it in the past and I was like, no, I don't like that. But then when I was with my mom and my sister, I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. And it was the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her new like nudes, I think line it's in the shade cover star it's the lightest one like look at that beautiful nudie shade i'm actually a little apprehensive to put it with this lip liner because normally nudie shades like this you need a darker lip liner but we're gonna try it out anyways i do want to do a little swatch oh yeah are these gonna go together maybe not i may have to tweak my lip after i'm done uh filming but let's try this out i do already know i love charlotte tilbury's lipstick formulation i have too many of them like three or four but i'm excited to try this one out my dry, crusty lips are not making it look very cute, but that's okay. I like the shade. I do. But I feel like I'm getting a little thrown off right now because, A, I think it would benefit from a deeper lip liner. Like, this one is, it's just, it's not deep enough and it's like pinky and this is more peachy. So they're honestly really clashing together. And also my eyes are like really cool tone and taupey. And this is like a super peachy shade. So... I feel like I like this, but I would like it even more with a darker like brown lip liner and then a more warm tone, brownie, goldy sort of eye. Um, so I'm actually going to take this off. <laughs> I'm going to reline my lips with the Makeup by Mario liner. And I'm actually going to fill it in this time. Ooh, the shade filled in. Stunning. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then for lip gloss, I'm going to go ahead and use the Half Cake Makeup Instant Crush. This is just their lip gloss, I'm pretty sure. And this is in the shade Cake Baby. It has such a nostalgic, like, makeup smell. I don't know. That reminds me of, like, makeup when I was a kid. Okay, so that is really pretty. And it's very opaque, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that opaque, but... That's pretty. I like that a lot and it's super shiny. And last but not least, we're going in with my most recent setting spray and that is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I've only used this once 
and I didn't love it. I didn't love it, but we're going to use it again and we're going to use less this time because I feel like last time I just used too much and it ended up being a little bit oily on me, which I am not here for, not here for. So well now I'm like, was that enough? <laughs> I think so. We're going to stop. We're not going to put it where I'm like, don't do it. And that was it, you guys. That was my get ready with me with a couple of brand new items to me. I was uh, testing them out for you guys. I love this eyeshadow. I think it's absolutely stunning. I definitely want to pick up more shades. Hi, popping in here because I wanted to let you guys know that I was raving about this eyeshadow and I do still think it's beautiful, but it's about one o'clock. And if you can see, it is like creasing very, very badly on my eyes, like so badly. Um... So yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. I just kind of wanted to come on and let you know because I was raving about it so much and kept saying like how beautiful it was and all of that. <laughs> Hi, Butterscotch. <laughs> Hi, Bubby. So yeah, I wanted to come on and give you a little update and let you know that it's creasing it terribly. So while it is beautiful, that is a bummer. The highlight, I'm just, it's pretty... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This I think I'm going to love with a different makeup look. The liner I'm loving. I'm loving the shade. I'm loving the formula. I'm hoping it's long lasting. I've heard that they are. This lip gloss is really pretty. So yeah, I think that was all the new things that I tested out. Oh, the uh, blush. Well, I already had tried that formula and knew I really liked the formula, but this shade is beautiful and I'm just super impressed by how well they are just shining through under the powder. I don't know why it's translucent powder. So like it's not like it had any sort of pigmentation to it, but I'm very impressed with this makeup here. I think it's a really just nice, subtle, simple look. Nothing too, too crazy to take my 94-year-old Bafshi out to get her hair done. Let me know down below. What is some makeup that you have recently picked up? What are some new goodies to you? I still have a couple more items coming in. Not from Sephora, but from other sales. And you know what, guys? Black Friday sales are coming up, and I, I'm going to probably participate. So be on the lookout for probably morning makeup. I haven't fully decided, but I just love makeup and I just really want to try all the makeup ever out there in the whole world. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see me next video. Bye guys.